Hello everyone, it's Robin here and welcome to Christmas in July. I'm so excited to see you here today and I'm excited for the week we have coming up where Monday through Friday will be a new Christmas planning video each day and I am really looking forward to it. You know the holidays, they come and there is so much fun and action happening. I like to get a step up on my planning for them because we have a lot going on. We have our decor, we have our baking, we have our traditions, we have gifts, we have events and so on and so on. And what I wanna do each day is make a planning page to help me get a step up on those items come December. Today, we are taking my classic happy planner here and I am building a page. I believe we're gonna be decking the halls today and I'm gonna get some help from a little penguins. Yes, oh my gosh, look at this. This is my penguin holiday collection on my Etsy shop. We have a few other stickers that we'll be using too. And before we get any further, my Etsy shop is having a Christmas in July sale 20% off everything in the Christmas category. So you don't wanna miss that. I'll link it down below if you wanna check it out. So I have my peppermint bark coffee here, which is just Christmas perfection, and I'm ready to get started. So let's cue the festive titles. I always love a good craft day and look how festive this one looks. I'm super excited. So um, we're building this decor page and what I want its purpose to be is to think ahead of time for when the holidays come, what are some of the main decor things I want to happen in the home. So these are basically my priorities. So we all have a ton of Christmas ornaments, but I want to do some of these main areas that I have and I think I have like three or four of them that I want to put down on here. I'll be using again these penguin holiday stickers from my Etsy shop along with the advent calendar. This was from a couple of years ago and this is the cozy holiday advent calendar. The rest of this calendar looks like this so you can find that on there too. You can have it in this spruce or this cranberry red color, which is super fun. And I'm going to also use this new Tis the Season script that just released on my Etsy shop. Um, loving this. This is what the full page looks like. Yeah, so many fun words. And uh, this is what we used the other day. I also have some washi here. I have some you know, Christmas lights, because that's fun. This came from Simply Gilded years ago, and this is some really fun green washi from Simply Simple Stories. So we have all of that. Let's just get started. I think I wanna start with setting the washi up. So I'm turning this upside down because I wanna line up at the top and the bottom. So let's put this one right here. This green is so pretty. And while I'm sitting here considering, you know, really what are the priorities for Christmas decor? You know, in a perfect world, my house would look like a Hallmark movie, but <laughs> that's, that can't always happen. That would be a lot, right? But there are some areas that, that I can pay attention to, that I want to pay attention to. And planning it out now is helpful because I can start looking for some things as they come out and getting some of these items uh, before my budget goes crazy, you know, when it hits November. And you have to buy like everything all at once. We don't need that kind of life, right? That's a lot. Okay, so I'm putting this both at the top and the bottom. I love, 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 love this washi. So pretty. I think I got it from scrapbook.com. If I find it, I will link it down below for you. But I got it last year, so I don't know if they'll have it. But any any washi really would do, any green. So look at these lights. Aren't those gorgeous? I'm gonna put this right at the top because we're gonna be decorating. And you know, you need some lights when you're decorating, right? I like how this just blends in to the paper. It's a nice washi too. Okay. Let's get that bit off and now we can get uh, started. Oh yeah, I like that. 
So I like how these penguins are decorating this with this tree. So we're gonna put this on here. I think it'll really make a statement. <laughs> uh, if we had penguins come into our homes and decorate our trees, that would be amazing, right? It'd be so amazing. So let's put these guys right here. I'm gonna kind of set them on this washi a little bit so it looks like they have, you know, a place they're standing, like a floor. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. So cute. And um, this one has a present. We might use this later down the road. And this one has some cookies. We might use that later down the road too. I like this one with these two guys. And I think I wanna put it up here to balance this. So let's pull this off. I think that would look really cute up here. Let me grab my tweezers. I grab my tweezers and I'm not even using them. There we go. Oh my gosh, aren't they cute? Yes, they are super adorable. And we're gonna look down this list of items. So I already used these three stickers in my plan with me video. I'll link that down below if you missed it. And we are decking the halls. So we're gonna use deck the halls because this is all about holiday decor and this will be the title. And I'm gonna put this up here with these little cute penguin guys. And I wanna go over the green a little bit so it kind of interacts with it, like so. Um, that looks really cute. That looks really cute. Okay. So my idea is this. I have, I think, three or four, if I can fit four. I think I can fit four. I want to cozy up our living room a little bit. So I have some Christmas pillows, but I want to kind of change them out and cozy it up and get some throws. So I want a section for that so I can start looking for those items. Rod and I also last year bought two giant wreaths that will hang outside. So we need some decor and items for that. So I want to make note of that so that Christmas doesn't happen. And I'm like, oh wait, I need to buy all these things. <laughs> Um, I also want to make a hot cocoa bar and that kind of will decorate the kitchen a little bit. So I'm looking at this advent calendar stickers and they have all of these cozy home items. And I think I'm going to use some of these to mark these out. And you know what? I need boxes too. Let me grab something. Okay. I'm pulling in these boxes. This is the holly color of green and this is part of the cozy holiday solid box collection. I think this works well with this. It matches this. Okay, we're gonna use these boxes. I think we should just kind of uh, start. This guy looks like he's sitting. I'm gonna put him on a box. Let's let's start with him. So we can, um, well, let's fit this box underneath him. Cause look, it looks like he's sitting on the box. I could totally do that. Let's lift him up a little bit. I like it when the stickers interact with each other. It's super, super fun. So I'm just gonna kind of set this box, right? This paper here is uh, just a filler paper from Happy Planner and it has lines, which helps make getting things straight, you know, easy. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, look how cute he is. Actually, there's two of them, so how cute are they? <laughs> and uh, let's do this for our home. So I'm looking at these pictures. I just want pictures that kind of go with it. And I saw this one. It has a chair with a pillow and we're going to use this to make our cozy holiday home. So let's, um, let's overlap it just a touch, maybe this much. That looks pretty cute, right? Um, let's use this big one because I want, like I said, I want to build a hot cocoa bar so that I might have more items to write into. And let's put this in the center so that we can build around it a bit. Yeah, this will help center the page. Let's do that. So again, I'm using these lines. Okay. And then I can put one up here. I think I can fit one. So the fourth one, I'll probably do something about candles because there's a lot of candle stickers and that's a great thing to look into. I always look forward to what the scents are coming out. So let's do something for hot cocoa bar. Oh, look, it's got a little raccoon on it. Let's uh, 
sticker right here. Okay, nice, nice. So these wreaths, let's do the wreaths up here. I'm gonna at the square box. So last year, Rod and I picked up these wreaths from, uh, I think it was an after Christmas sale at Hobby Lobby. I wanna say it was at Hobby Lobby. And they're huge. They're, I don't know, they're like th three feet. Well, I don't know, they're huge. They're th like three feet or so. And I'm so excited to decorate these wreaths, but you know, I need the things to decorate them. So there's a lot of wreaths on here. We have a green one and a red one and another green one with red in it. Oh, here's a candle in red. I did mention I wanna do candles. Let's do red and then we'll get some other color because I think I, we could use some other color on here. We'll try the red. We'll try the red to start with. So let's overlap this. Oh wait, do I have enough room? <laughs> Gotta think these things through. Yes, we do. Loving it. And then we can fit one down here and we'll do that one for the candles. Let's use this other square box. And let's put it, let's go over this way. Oh, let's see if we have room. Let's pull this up because I want to maybe go like this so we can get some over on this side. Yeah, let's go right about here and lay this box down. And then, oh, look at that. That looks really cute. I'm enjoying this. Okay, I'm bringing some pens and I have a regular Sharpie S gel that I like to use, but I'm bringing in this Papermate Flare pen to write the titles of what these are. So this one will be for our wreaths. Okay, so I wrote out down all the titles and we have our wreaths up here. We have our cozy living room here, our hot cocoa bar and candles. Excellent, excellent. You know, I think I wanna add, before I write things in, I think I wanna add some more of these lights going through. I think that would look really cute to help bring the decor through. So let's put some lights in here. So let's put some lights in between these two. Okay, oh my gosh, look how cute that looks. <laughs> I like this string of lights going through all of this and I like this one going into the tree too. That's really super fun. Okay, let's, uh, let's get our pen ready and start writing some of these items in. So for the living room, what I wanna do is cozy it up a bit. I mentioned I have some pillows but I wanna change them out and get a couple of throws. So I'm gonna write pillows here so I can look into them. It's so easy to do these pillows because I have the, uh, like the inserts of the pillows and you just get the decor on the outside so you can make it look any way you want. I like changing it out for the season. I wanna get something to uh, highlight those. Give me a moment. Okay, I have these dot markers and I think the colors will match the lights. I have like a golden and a green and a red or a pinkish red. We'll see, we'll see if it matches close enough. So these dot markers are nice cause you just dot, but they do bleed through the Happy Planner paper, but they're not gonna bleed through the um, sticker on top of the paper. So that's good. Let's do a gold one. And the harder you press them, the larger the dot goes. Okay. I think that's kind of cute. It looks like the lights. Let's move on with the wreaths. So um, the wreaths we have, they're, they're giant wreaths and I need a few things for them outside. So I want to look into this. So I wanna look into some ribbons, possibly lights, other decor like picks or ornaments, and then how are we gonna hang these things? So let's put a green one there, 
Oh, I like this. I like these. These are fun. These look like the lights. Let's put a red one here. Yes. A gold one down here for decor. And then let's go the green again under hangers. Okay. Uh, dotting is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Stickering is fun and so is dotting. Okay, hot cocoa bar. Do you have a hot cocoa bar? Do you set something like that up? Uh, I'm obsessed. Let me know. Now, I don't have a lot of counter space in my kitchen. We just redid the kitchen, but we don't have a lot, ton of counter space. But we do have an island. And last year, Rod gave me a white wooden two-tier tray. And I want to build my, co my hot cocoa bar in that tiered tray. I think that would be really cool. So I want to put down here some of the things that I want to get for it. So let's see how, let's see how this goes. Whew, okay, so here's where we're at with this. Let's start with red so for my hot cocoa bar i need some cute jars that will fit in my tear tray so dollar tree is a good place to look for that right yes and some festive decor there's always some cute things and also i can look through my christmas ornaments to see if there's some small ornament things that will sit up for that i have a lot of wooden ornaments and tin ornaments so i think some of those might fit and then down here um of course let's do one for this we need marshmallows chocolate chips peppermints and sprinkles yes so uh, i'm gonna need to address all those uh, i'm really excited about this hot cocoa bar rod liked one that i built last year but i didn't have my tiered tray so it was just on the counter this one's gonna be gorgeous. Okay, <laughs> let's figure these candles out. I think I wanna put three down here. So let's go ahead and put our dots in first. And I'll just start the first dot right here. And then we'll just continue down this row. And I'm, I think what I wanna do is just write down some sense I'm thinking about. These can go through the rest of the house. And I love looking at Bath and Body. They have such great candles during the holidays. Oh, and fall too, all the pumpkin things. Um, but I wanna make sure I get some of the scents, but sometimes the candles and the scents transfer into, uh, we had a bathroom hand wash that was fabulous last Christmas. So I wanna do that again. So one of the scents I want I want something that has a woodsy kind of a thing. And I'm writing woodsy because it can contain anything that helps me smell the Christmas tree. But if I get straight evergreen or straight pine, it, it affects Rod in a way that's not good. <laughs> he likes the smell of real trees, but the, the scent doesn't work. So something that has a little woodsy tone that would work. Um, I also want something I want something that has a citrus thing. So why does the word citrus look so weird to me right there? Do you ever write a word and it just looks weird? Is that spelled right? <laughs> you tell me, it looks right, but it looks weird too. Um, oranges were always a thing, it's kind of a traditional thing in my childhood at Christmas. I think it comes from my grandmother who uh, is English. And you know, back also back in the day, oranges were put in our stockings because we didn't have a lot of money or her family didn't have a lot of money. And I think around the time of the depression, oranges were a huge thing to get for the holidays. So uh, oranges has always been a part of my holiday. So something maybe with a citrus scent to it would be really good. And then I want something that has a baking, some kind of baking scent, although I'm hoping I'll be baking. And that would include, you know, the vanillas and peppermint and things of that nature. So, yeah, I think that will help me get us started because I can look through all these things and as things come up, I can get them little by little. Some of the things like I can look for the pillows and throws now. I can look for cute jars now. So some of the things I can look ahead of time. OK, I want to do just one more thing for decor. And I want to add some of these cute 
star things such as this one. These are like star cookie things, but I think this will help bring it out. I want to put these one for each of these because there's those star cookies on here. And look, there's little orange baubles that look like oranges. Loving that. Loving that. Let's put this little one here. Right here. And then this will highlight also that there's something to look at. Let's put this little one. This just makes me want to eat a cookie. Yes. And then let's do this one again up here at the top. Oh my gosh, I think we're done. I am obsessed with this. I love this and it'll be very helpful. Okay, let's get the planner and put her in. Okay, so when I put this planner together for the rest of the year, I have this section called Joy, and this is where I put all my fun trackers and my monthly moments, but I had this one space right here that was the super, super secret special place for a project coming up, and that would be Christmas, because we love Christmas. And this is where we're gonna house all of these new trackers that we'll be building this Christmas in July. So let me pull this out, and we're gonna put this tab right on there. Yes, to the Christmas. And now we can place our page right inside. Oh, look at her, she looks fantastic. Okay, so we used the Penguin Holiday stickers, some of the Advent Calendar stickers from Cozy Holidays and the Holly. I will link everything down below. Oh, and along with these Tis the Season script. I'll link everything down below so that you can check it out if you like. And don't forget, we do have a sale, Christmas in July sale happening on the shop right now. All Christmas category items, 20% off. Great sale, great time to get a step up on your Christmas stickers. Let me know down below, what are some of the things that you would put in here if you were building a holiday decor page? What are some things that you're thinking about in terms of the holidays and decor that you wanna do? I would love to hear from you down in the comments below. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have a magical day and I will see you tomorrow for our next video. Happy Christmas in July, bye.